Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let there be no doubt the fight against climate change is a fight for survival, for our physical survival, but also a fight to keep the social cohesion. Some people feel the consequences of climate change much harder than others, and some people will feel the consequences of climate policy much harder than others. I'm thinking of our farmers, of people who rent an old apartment, but also about small family businesses, for instance. So there is, it is more important than ever to get this fight right. The last thing we need now in the fight against climate change is more polarization. On one extreme, we see the complete denial of man-made global warming. These people are sticking their heads in the sand. While on the other side, the other extreme, we see movements that are trashing buildings and trashing works of art. Don't get me wrong. I hear and understand the anxiety of people who are afraid we do not do enough. And I can reassure them, we will do more. More climate investment, more international financing. But I also hear the ones end, the ones who fear the personal burden of climate policy. What we need today are solutions that work for everyone. Yes, we need to be more ambitious, but we also need to take care of people. We should leave no one behind. And just like we don't need more polarization, we should also avoid resignation. Because people should know that today climate technologies are more promising than ever. Belgium comes to this COP with a sizable private sector delegation because they bring big solutions to the table. From offshore wind technology to green hydrogen to projects that will not only protect us against rising sea levels, but that can even turn the driest desert into an oasis again. And the really great news is every country is doing so, bringing their own solutions, bringing their own strengths to the table. That is how we reinforce each other. That is how we stop climate change, together, north and south. And that is what this summit should be about, about connecting expertise with financing and ambition. And we are making quantum leaps in our climate policies as well. Just look at last year, from Repower EU to the Inflation Reduction Act in America. Policy is catching up, policy is speeding up. So my message here today, especially to young people, is be part of the solution. We need you. Go study science and above all, build coalitions, build partnerships, reach out to people with different ideas, because that is the moment when real change is happening. And young people know this. The media loves to shine a light on those who destroy art or shout slogans like stop oil. But yesterday, I met a large delegation of young Belgian activists who know that they have to look beyond the slogans. Young people who understand that only meaningful action can replace that oil. Young people who know that governments cannot do this alone. That progress is not imposed top-down, but co-created between partners, between governments and the private sector, between companies and civil society. That is the only way forward, not by throwing paint at each other, but by reaching out one to another. This must be our lesson in the fight against climate change. We need to keep everyone on board. We need to be ambitious, and at the same time, we need to be caring. The solutions, they are out there. But that does not mean that the solutions will always be simple. In the words of the late Queen Elizabeth, it has always been easy to destroy. To build and to cherish is much more difficult. The task ahead is not an easy one, but I am convinced that humanity can succeed once more. I thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency.